Are you past the point of weary? Is your burden weighing heavy? Is it all too much to carry? Let me tell you about my Jesus. Do you feel that empty feeling? Cause shame's done all it's stealing. And you're desperate for some healing. Let me tell you about my Jesus. Finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against the spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand on the evil day. And having done it all, to stand. Stand therefore, having girded your waist with faith and having put on the breastplate of righteousness and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of faith. But above all, take the shield of faith with which you may be able to stand against all the darts of the evil one. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Being watchful to this end with perseverance and supplication for all the saints and for me that may utterance be given to me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel in which I am an ambassador in chains and that in it I may speak boldly what I ought to speak. Thank you. Pray for your husband. I pray for your family that you will be Saul who became Paul in this church. Thank you, God. May the Lord bless you and receive you into his kingdom and into our fellowship as Seventh-day Adventist. May your name, O oh God, be praised forevermore. Amen. There's a song for Sister Natalie. You are pouring contempt on all the wealth, the fame. He was moving around the world, people following her. And she felt, but then she felt something was missing. You know, when we were doing the Bible study, her mother called. And luckily, we were on Zoom doing the study. And the mother said, can I talk to the pastor? But she spoke in Arabic, and she translated. Armenian. I don't know, Armenian. And then she translated. Her mama said, oh, my daughter has found way back to her home. Her mother is a Seventh-day Adventist. And the child rebelled and took the whole thing. Mother never thought daughter would come back. So he said, God bless you, Pastor. I said, glorify God. So on Sabbath, never fail to attend church service, wherever you are. If you are in Armenia, there is Armenian Seventh-day Adventist. Find them. Lebanon, you find. And thank you for accepting Natalie. It is something, some power that is forcing her and the prisoners need Jesus. You have called her and you have ministry for her. Heavenly Father, creator of the heaven and earth, Jesus Christ who died and poured your blood on Calvary for us. Our daughter today is leaving the devil and all the pleasures of this world. Strengthen her today, O Lord. Consecrate her today, O Lord. 
drive away every evil power that is trying to take her back. Heavenly Father, let your power be felt today that by the time our sister goes down and back, no power will have any influence on her. And our Lord, you she will, be, she will be filled rather by the Holy Spirit power. That she will testify before nations what you have done. Lord, make her like Paul, O oh Lord. Make her like Mary Magdalene who became a champion of women in spite of her past. So that glory will be ascribed unto your name. I pray for the husband who is giving her the support. Heavenly Father, I pray that you continually bless him too. I pray for West Island. So we could be a warm, welcoming church for our dear sister. We pray for all Adventists worldwide. Today, Sister Natalie Restokian, having accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I, on behalf of the Seventh-day Adventist Church today, and on behalf of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ, baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. May you continue till death, and you will receive a crown of life. Amen. 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 Our dear sister in Christ, it has been a privilege in meeting you so called by accident, but now we realize it was not by accident. God has done a lot in your life in a short period of time, and now you're at the next step. So, on behalf of the West Island Church leadership and members, we are happy to present to you this baptismal certificate for your baptismal at this place and member of the West Island Seventh-day Adventist Church and on behalf of us as well, <laughs> we are happy to present you with this token of our love that we know will continue to flow in Christ and in fellowship. Thank Welcome. You. God bless you. Thank, you. thank you, Sister Vanessa. And I want to say thank you so much. And I want to do my best to be a good sister in Christ and a uh, member of this family, this amazing family that was the last place I ever expected to be. And, uh, and I want to thank my sister Vanessa, who is one of my Barnabases. She's the first Barnabas in my family. We have so much more Barnabases in each other's lives and so much more Poles, men and women. And I'm going to do my best after knowing the truth that the Lord Jesus Christ died for me. So. I make a pledge to live every day for Him. We praise you and we glorify you, Lord, for her commitment and for the testimony that she has made that you want to serve you every day. Empower her by your Holy Spirit. And I pray that God that her life will be a powerful influence, a powerful instrument in your hand to reach others, to help them also get ready for the soon coming of our Lord. 